wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Hi guys, it's Sunday and it's the 11th of July in Australia. I normally don't produce videos on Sunday. I'm normally too busy surfing the web and going out for a bit of a fitness walk. But today I'm, I'm making this vid because I, I think it, it has to be, be made there. And this is in relation to Timepiece Gentlemen who just released a new video, I am so sorry, a message to my followers, the watch industry, and my friends slash family. And this is a video from Anthony Farah, who is the owner, and uh, he's also the brains trust behind timepiece gentlemen slash gentlemen timepieces. He's, he's the main, main proprietor behind this brand. Uh, and he's, he's in partnership with Nico, Marco, Marco. But Anthony's released this video and it's basically an apology video. And... He doesn't mention Archie Luxury, which I got to be honest with you, Anthony, I'm very disappointed that you didn't mention the pontiff. But you do apologize. And, I, and I, I've got to be honest with you, Anthony, I'm here. I'm here to give you my support. I give you the benefit of the doubt. That's correct, guys. I'm here. I'm going to say this to you. I'm going to go out on a limb. It would be easy for me to keep kicking, keep kicking. But I actually think it was pretty damn courageous to make the apology video. And I think, personally, I, uh, I think I would be... If I wanted to buy a wristwatch in America, I'd be going to David SW, David SW, David SW, but I'm still going to be watching Timepiece Gentlemen. I also would, I'd, I'd, I'd forgive him. I, I, I do forgive you. I want to say this video from the bottom of my heart. Anthony Farah, I forgive you, man. I forgive you. You're not the only person who has done stupid things in their life and even myself at 48 years old I continue to do really stupid things just ask my uh, third wife my wife she she would tell you many stupid things that I continue to do on a daily basis and I gotta say to you um, I, I'm really proud of you for releasing that video I, um, I, I, I'm still a little bit pissed off that you blocked me on WhatsApp. I would like you to unblock me and have a bit of a, you know, just, I, I'm not going to publicize it. I just want to have a bit of a chat to you man to man. But as the pontiff, as one of the foundation YouTube channels in this industry, I want to put my support behind your video and say I accept I accept your apology I think it took a lot of guts to say you were wrong it took a lot of guts to say you were wrong and I'm really proud of what you did okay you know I, I I admit you you kind of you know you, you it was a buffoon thing to do. I could see this a mile away. It was so dumb, but I got to be honest with you. You tried something innovative, and sometimes in this YouTube space, in this social media environment, sometimes you try things and they backfire badly. And 
I've got to be totally honest with you and say, you know what, Anthony Farah, I forgive you. I really do forgive you. And I hope, I hope uh, the community joins with me to give you a little bit of a leave pass. I've had a lot of people write to me in the last couple of days saying that I should be harder on you. I should be really kicking. And I got to tell you, man, after I saw your apology, I'm ready to forgive and let you prove yourself again. I got no hard feelings towards you. I got no hard feelings towards you. In fact, I think it was pretty damn good to come out and make the video. Uh, I, admittedly, you know, Roman made a video, Roman Sharif from Luxury Bazaar, he made a video which said, reading between the lines, he was quite pissed off with the stunt that you pulled. Then we had Paul Thorpe, the American, sorry, the, the UK watch dealer, Paul Thorpe, uh, who I got to tell you, I got a lot of respect for Paul Thorpe in recent recent uh, months. I've, I've 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 I had a bit of a love hate relationship with Paulie, but I I think he made a very good video where he said that you really you really stuffed up with this latest social media antics. So I've got to tell you, in all honesty. I've seen your video. Uh, I've seen the video, and I, I'm I'm pleased you made the video with a Bruce Wayne Rolex. You weren't wearing that horrible Aqua, the Tiffany Aqua RM on your wrist. You 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 were wearing a Bruce Wayne, which I think is a good thing to have. I think it'd be a good idea, Anthony, if you could focus on the business and. Um, I, I would probably, instead of looking at new premises, I'd probably sack half your staff and I would uh, sell off sell off most of your collection, put the money into the business, slow down, slow down, take it more easy. I'm a bit worried for you. And I've got to tell you, as a, as a um, foundation, member of this community, I got to tell you, I forgive you. I think you had, I really did like this video and I'm really happy that you released it. And yeah, you, look, there's always, it's always easy for people on the side to criticize and say he should have released it earlier. He should have done this, yada, yada, yada. Well, you did release a video and that's, I think actions speak louder than words. So I I got to tell you in in all honesty, I think I think it's um I mean I still think you're a self-interested shit, of course, but hey, hey, most of us are, but I I actually forgive you, Anthony. I I tell you this, being in the industry as long as I have, I I'd like to say to you, man, I think it's time people lay back lay off a little bit and give you a bit of a chance to prosper. I really do. Um, I really do believe this. So I'd like to put my weight and support behind continuing to watch timepiece gentlemen. I would like to say that um, I think you're trying your best. You're trying to fix up a bad situation, which man, that take a lot, lot of courage to do. I I understand why a lot of people can't forgive you, but I've got to tell you, as a YouTuber myself, I do forgive you, and I would say, hey, hey, let's just, you know, new slate, another day, clean slate, let's keep going there. So um, I, I think some people are getting really nasty, and I, I'd like to see it stop. I would really like to see that stop, and... I'd like to see them give you... I mean, I don't I don't particularly like you. As a person, I you kind of give me the shits. But I think your apology was nice enough. 
Uh, I think you gave it a good shot. And um, I, I'd like to say, as the pontiff in this industry, I forgive you, Anthony. Timepiece, gentlemen. I forgive you. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends, and don't be afraid to get a paid review. 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube, and I will see you in the next one. 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need your support. And guys, you could also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.